One of them is Marcus Dyson with that three for DeAndre Swift signed jersey. We when we hit 2K, we'll be giving it away to one of our subscribers here. We're going to be doing a actually mock draft, and this is going to be a redraft mock draft. I think we, when you look at Dynasty as a whole, you have different categories of what you can break Dynasty down into. And the most important year is the current year that Dynasty is on. Uh, yes, some teams are playing for the future. In that kind of category, you have a little bit of redraft in there because you have every team that has a method that going for, um, they're either going to go for the championship, they're rebuilding, they're reloading. Uh, you have teams that are completely tanking um, to try to get their positions for next year. And so I got actually picked number seven in a redraft league. And so we actually picked chips out of a bag. Uh, it's either a week or two weeks prior to the draft. I got seven. So um, this is, this is I'm, I want to see, uh, get some feedback from you guys to see how I can better my team. I'm losing my voice a little bit. Had just came back from a bachelor party, a three day bachelor party, which is a little rough. So I think right off the bat, when you look at number seven here, this spot, so you guys can see where I'm at. Uh, cause I would say most dynasty players have some sort of redraft with it. This is half point PPR, three wide receivers, uh, not super flex or anything like that. That was some thunder. Um, you're looking at JT. Henry, McCaffrey, Eckler, and then you have Cup and Jefferson. Like that's the the the, the five six in there. And then you also have Dalvin Cook uh, in there as well. Man, my voice is dying. Uh, but we're just gonna continue on. We're gonna start this draft and see where I am. I would love to have one of those top four running backs, um, or have Justin Jefferson and Cooper Cup. And of course, perfect, <laughs> perfectly this happened because I wanted to see what I would do. Henry, Eckler, uh, Jonathan Taylor, McCaffrey. Jefferson Cup, gone. Like, they're gone. That's fine. I want to see where the seven position is because that's going to be the toughest position for me personally. I have Najee Harris in my head, Jamar Chase, and Dalvin Cook. This is tough for me. I love Dalvin Cook. I absolutely look at, love Dalvin Cook. And I even look at Dalvin Cook last year. Uh, he was 16th in PPR, 16th in standard, only 13 games. I just can't see him being much worse. And then I see Najee Harris. Number three in PPR, number four in standard, had a, just a ton of volume. I could definitely see the 94 targets and 74 receptions go down. Uh, excuse me here. I am just, since you can see I'm a Vikings fan here, we're just going to go with Delvin Cook. This would be a nice kind of interesting thing to do if I did um, a Jamar Chase here, but I'm just going to go Delvin Cook. I want that stud running back in the first seven picks here. It goes Chase, Najee, Swift right after me. We'll see what we have left here. Um, Alvin Kamara and I'm moving up to the second round. That does not shock me one bit. I feel like you're going to see a lot of that happening more and more. So really what's left is Saquon. I can go double running back here. I've done that before. And it, it has either been very successful or very horrible. Tyreek Hill. Eh, Josh Allen, not here. Aaron Jones, not here. Uh, I mean, I guess maybe here. I guess you could say for Aaron Jones, Javante Williams, Debo Samuel, Mark Andrews, and man, I am definitely losing my voice. I And this is where I want to see what happens. I'm going to take Mark Andrews here in the second round. Dalvin Cook, Mark Andrews, I think when you're looking at Debo compared to the wide receiver I'm going to get in the third round, I don't think it's a ginormous difference. You're looking at Debo versus T. Higgins or Debo versus Keenan Allen. In fact, up right now, Kyle Pitts made it to the third round, which I think is not going to happen in a real draft. Uh, this is what we have mocks versus real drafts. I, I see Kyle Pitts going. You never know. Maybe he doesn't, but I, I see him going. Um, so really, I have Keenan Allen left, James Conner, Patrick Mahomes, T. Higgins. I love T. Higgins. Uh, Brees Hall here is an excellent chance coming back. So this is where I almost have to look. Okay, well, I'm 12 picks away. What does 12 picks get me? Uh, 12 picks puts me at Terry McLaurin, Michael Pittman, Jalen Waddle, DJ Moore. I love all those wide receivers. I love Keenan Allen, but it's not like uh, Keenan Allen and T. Higgins are not a ginormous difference between Michael Pittman and Terry McLaurin and stuff. So really looking at running back here, I am going to go Brees Hall. I, I Just looking at this, I, James Conner could be could be a repeat of last year, but I think Brees Hall is, again, that game-changing running back in the final five, six weeks, especially in redraft. I'm going to take him there. <clears throat> Man, I'm dying here. Bachelor parties kill people. <laughs> no one got arrested, so there, we had that. Uh, again, we look at the wide receivers, Terry McLaurin, Michael Pittman, Jalen Waddell, DJ Moore, and I'm just going to take Michael Pittman, who I think is the best 
I, I he can be my wide receiver one. He's not going to probably finish as a top eight wide receiver, but I easily in that 10, 12 range, that's perfect for me because I'm probably going to take another running back right around here. And there's, I can't, there's, there was a statistic and I can't remember about uh, rookie running backs. It, it was like, there's 75% of the last year, 75% of like the last 10 years, there's been a, a running back one. I can't remember the exact st statistic. It's almost, it seems like almost nearly every year, which 75%, three fourths of the year, there's a running back one. And Brees Hall, I would put all my money on that because I don't see it coming out of Ken Walker unless, again, Rashad Penny gets hurt early. And I don't see it coming out of James Cook unless it's going to be a, a, a James White role. All right. We have Lamar Jackson, Amari Cooper, Kyler Murray, Marquise Brown, who I think is going to be a stud in the beginning, first part of the year. Uh, I'm staying away from Amari Cooper. There's Clyde edwards alaire Brandon Cooks, who seems like he's always underrated. I'm going to take my second wide receiver. I'm going to go with Marquise Brown just because I feel like, again, two wide receivers in two – well, I, especially Arizona, a good offense. And I think Michael Pittman is the alpha, clearly, in his that his offense. And I like my team so far. If you guys can withstand my my broken-up voice. Because I have Cook, Cook, Hall, Pittman, Brown, and Andrews. I love that start. I love that start so far. And I don't need to take a wide quarterback right now. I mean, I could take Amari Cooper. Or, uh, sorry, I could take Kyler Murray. But uh, Dalton Schultz is here. I don't want him. A.J. Dillon. Right off the bat, you have A.J. Dillon, Kareem Hunt, um, Adam Thielen, Michael Thomas, Darnell Mooney, uh, a couple rookie wide receivers. This is where I feel like I want that that guy that's going to fill in that beginning part of the year for Brees Hall and potentially be a really good, solid player that if Cook or Hall get hurt, specifically Cook, uh, I'm going to take A.J. Dillon here. I think A.J. Dillon is an excellent value. You're looking at a running back at low end RB2 that I'm having as my third running back, um, there's probably not going to be many teams that are going to have that. I, there's one team that has Eckler, Javante, and Aaron Jones. Yeah, they got a better third running back. Um, Najee, Connor, Antonio Gibson. But honestly, I would AJ Dillon and, and Gibson, I think, are really close um, fantasy wise. I'd probably want Dillon over Gibson. That's sad. It's really sad. <clears throat> oh, man, I am just dying. My voice is dying. Sorry, guys. Hopefully my voice gets better. Uh, Russell Wilson. We got Devontae Smith, Tom Brady. Again, a bunch of rookie wide receivers here. You could go with Drake London, Trey Burks and stuff. I just don't think any of the rookie wide receivers are worth buying right now. Um, the rookie, the receiver that I want is Devontae Smith, uh, especially in three wide receivers. I need to get a third wide receiver that I think is going to be solid. And Devontae Smith is that guy. I got Pittman, Brown, and Devontae Smith. I think he is – I mean, you look at Devontae versus – A.J. Brown, I talk about this all the time. 3-3 three, three versus 7-7. Seven, seven. Who's going to have the better year? I think they're going to be very, very close. I just get a four-round discount versus... It's, it's the Mike Evans and Godwin situation when it comes to half-point half point PPR. They're, they're very similar, in, in my opinion, last year, not this year, because, of course, Godwin's recovering from an ACL. All right, we got Dallas Goddard, Tom Brady. This is tempting Tom Brady time. Uh, I could get Matthew Stafford or Aaron Rodgers late. But, I mean, you have Singletary, Penny, Tyler Lockett, Chris Olave, Brandon Ayuk. I don't want any of these wide receivers. Robert Woods, a little later. I'm just going to take Tom Brady. I feel like he is that difference maker, that last quarterback. I mean, look at Tom Brady last year. He was the uh, show player card. He was the quarterback three overall. I understand the he kind of dwindled late. Um, but still, I mean, uh, quarterback three overall. I, I will take that here in the... Eighth round. Uh, let's see. Robert Woods, Trey Lance. Trey Lance would actually be a really good backup pick here. I get Tom Brady, the ultimate safety. And then I have Trey Lance, which would be the ultimate. And I don't like rostering two quarterbacks, but, I mean, Trey Lance here in the ninth round is, is a nice kind of like, hey, <clears throat> super risky. Could also be a top five quarterback. Has that realm of possibilities in him. And if he does, then I can trade him away. Christian Kirk, Ramondre, Alan Lazard, Chase Claypool, Sky Moore, Russell Gage. Like, none of this stuff is really I – mean, I like Robert Woods. I I, I think I, I'm going to take Robert Woods. I want Trey Lance so bad. <laughs> and know what? If he comes back to me right now, he's looking like he's going to – and he's gone. <laughs> uh, and he's gone, which is all right. That's fine. 
maybe I'll, maybe I'll summarize the rest of these picks. Uh, we got Sky Moore, who I absolutely do adore. Uh, this, I, I'm going to reach a little bit high for this, but I, I'm going to take Alexander Madison here if I can find him. Um, this is the ultimate. You got to put, you got to get the handcuff. And, and and you could argue to say Alexander Madison might have been the ninth round pick. Depending, know your leagues, know where those handcuffs go. Um, super important. Let me just draft another player or two so then we can just look at the roster here. Kenny Galladay, I mean, Jahan Dotson. I mean, we're really running out of, uh, we start getting into the, the interesting names. Kenny, Gall Kenny Galladay, people hate him. It's fine. But, I mean, you're looking at complete upside. I want at this point in the 11th round, he's not a startable roster on my team. I'm looking at somebody that I want either to be a wide receiver one or two, or I don't want, or I want to drop him. If Kenny Galladay, Galladay either gets hurt or they just seem to like not play him, I can cut him. I can have somebody else onto my roster. <coughs> I am dying. All right. <clears throat> Whoa. Not good. <laughs> I think I'm dead. Jahan Dotson, Jacoby Myers, Lashawn Watson. No. Justin Fields, not a bad play here. There's no one else that I like. <laughs> there really isn't. I'll just take Justin Fields so I don't die. Um, I'm just going to pause the draft so you guys can see here. But quarterbacks, Tom Brady, Justin Fields, running backs, Dalvin Cook, Alexander Madison to back him up, uh, Brees Hall, A.J. Dillon, my wide receivers, Pittman, Marquis Brown, Devontae Smith, Robert Woods, Kenny Galladay. Let me uh, let me know if there's something that, oh, and tight end, Mark Andrews, which is, of course is one of the most important aspects of all of this. Let me know where you think I um, maybe overdid it or underdid it based off of just things I was talking about. You don't get the entire draft board, but um, again, I just want to get you guys some good uh, some content here on a Monday morning. If I'm not going to lose my voice here, uh, I just want to get you some good content here on a Monday. So, all right. And now I knocked over. <laughs> this week is going to start off rough. All right. Peace out, guys. Take care. We'll see you tomorrow.